Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and this is So Beauty Stuff. So it was recently my birthday. Um, as I'm filming this, it was a couple of days ago, but probably by the time this goes up, it would be a few weeks ago. Um, so I wanted to just do a quick little like beauty haul of the things, some of the things I got for my birthday, um, and then show you a bit of a tutorial um, using some of the products. I bought myself this original beauty blender set from Sephora. Um, and it was something like $85 down to $34, which obviously is a great bargain. I've just realized as well that I've obviously pulled it out of the packet and put it back in <laughs> upside down. Here it is the right way up. Um, so um, normally I've bought the Beauty Blender on its own before and it's cost me I think something like $25 or $30. I can't remember exactly, but they're normally pretty pricey. So the fact that you get two here, um, you get the original Beauty Blender and you get the Beauty Blender Pro. I have both of these, this one's used today so it's filthy. Um, so I already have and used both of these and I think they're great. Um, I really enjoy the way they work, so it's great to have two more. You also get the Beauty Blender Mini here, um, which is it's actually called the Micro Mini. So it's a laser sharp, focused contouring, highlighting, concealing and colour correcting. Um, I'm yet to use it, so I'll let you know what I think about that. You get this little solid soapy thing that you can use to wash it, and you also get the Blotterazzi. And I actually wasn't 100% sure what this was when I got it, um, but it's actually, it looks like a like a flat beauty blender. If you squished a beauty blender, it's a very thin sponge, um, and you can use it on top of your makeup, and you just can use it to blot any oiliness that you get, so um, that's pretty cool. So I think probably the Blotter Artsy and the, the Mini I'll use for myself, and the other three I'll probably put in my kit. Um, and with that order, um, I, because it's my birthday month, I got a couple of like discount codes and I got a little free birthday gift from Sephora and it is this super cute little compact with two blushes in and they say happy birthday. So I think that's really, really cute. Um, I love peach blushes so I can't wait to use that and then this is a, like a gorgeous sort of uh, almost purpley shaded pink. Um, so I look forward to using that. Thanks Sephora. That's really really sweet. Um, next I got this beautiful highlighter, um, this is the Revlon um, highlighting palette and it's in the shade Rose Glow um, and it's just kind of like a strip of different colours that you swirl all together. I got this from my friend Lucy and um, I actually didn't know what she was wearing but she, um, every time she wears this highlighter and I see her, I'm like, wow, your highlighter looks amazing. And so for my birthday she said, now you can have it too. So that was a really awesome gift. My friend Estelle got me this awesome eye set from Benefit. So it's called the Most Wanted Mascara Lineup. It's got their, their real push-up liner. Um, their real um, tinted primer, their real mascara, um, roller lash mascara and bad girl lash mascara and they're all in mini which is really cool um, so they're really great for on the go and um, I actually have never used the primer, the eyeliner or bad girl lashes. Um, I've, bought, I've got a mini roller lash which is about ready to give up so it's great to have a new one and their real is one of my all-time favorite mascaras so great to have one that I can have on the go. So the last two gifts are from my sister, she sent them all the way from the UK. Um, so the first one is the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. Um, so this, I've always, always loved the look of this. It's just the most beautiful pattern in the pan. You can see why it's called Pink Leopard. And so it's got the leopard print with the pink in the middle. And so it's called a blushing bronzer. And if you actually look at it, you've kind of got some bronze colors, almost like some highlight colors, and then some blusher colors. So it's a real mixture of colors. And I've got it on today. You'll see me putting it on. Um, so really pleased with that. And finally, really the star of the show today is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, I'm so excited about this. When this collection first came out, um, I didn't have the money and it sort of sold out so quickly so when it came back I was really excited and it's been on my wish list so I'm so excited to get this as a gift. Um, on the back of the box it's got all the colours and it's in a tin form just like the um, chocolate bar palette, um, very similar kind of look to it. Um, does smell like peach, I've heard some people say that it's too sickly sweet for them but that's not the case for me, I love anything sweet. It smells really lovely and I just love these tones in here. So I will just compare this to the Chocolate Bar palette, which I've had and loved for some time now. Um, they are pretty much the same size, 
overall product amount is the exact same as well. I think the quality of the shadows from what I've tried out is the same as well. Um, if you click in the link down below um, for my blog post, you'll see some swatches as well if you want to see those. Um, I think the packaging is absolutely adorable. Too Faced just know how to do great packaging. Yeah, I'm really happy with the colour selection. So I really like this. I'm really happy with this product. I'm really glad to add it to my collection. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying out some more looks with it. Head over to the blog. Um, I'll leave the link down below if you want to see a full swatch of everything in there. Um, I'll show you how I got this look today. Okay, so I've got all my base on foundation, concealer, powder, um, eyebrows and lips. Obviously first I'm going to go in with the Sweet Peach palette. Um, so I thought it'd be quite cool actually to go in with one of the um, looks in that come with the palette. So I quite like the look of this one that's called Smoldering Peach. And on the back there it's got instructions. So I'm just going to kind of follow these through and see how it turns out. So it says apply nectar onto brow bone and inner corner. Next it says sweep just peachy into the crease and blend upwards. Okay number three dab a candied peach onto the inner half of the lid. Number four press summer yum into the outer half of the lid. Blend delectable into outer crease and smudge to the lower lash line. Okay, so according to this tutorial, that's where this look ends. Um, I feel like mine is not that smoky. I might actually just deepen it up by going in with some Peach Pit, which is this one next to um, Delectable. It's a little bit of a deeper colour. I'm just going to press that into the outer V. So that's just my first time ever using these colours. Um, I really like the colours. I think quality wise it definitely is on par with the chocolate bar palette. So I really like that. Okay, to finish off my eyes I'm going to go in with the Benefit Push Up Liner. So you twist the bottom and a little bit of the liner comes up. Okay, I will say it's really, really black. I like that but it's kind of leaving clumps of liner in my lashes um, so it's not the most easy to use but I do like that it's a really thick very black line but once you have got the exact right amount it is really smooth but working that out can be really tricky see I just rolled it up a bit more and then it's all just <clears throat> folded over and clumped okay next up is the their real tinted primer wear alone to tint and define lashes for a feathery natural look or wear under mascara to dramatically boost length and separation so it's the same brush as their real but it looks like it's a kind of brown formula on there okay so i've applied the primer to this eye as you can see it's just pretty much the same effect as having mascara on um you probably would see it better if i didn't have this thick liner on but there we go. I'm excited because if this works well then amazing. But I don't know why you would go out and buy something like a primer and then just use it as a mascara. You could just use a mascara. Um, I don't know anyone that's put their mascara and gone, oh, I really wish my lashes looked less like they have mascara on. So out of the three mascaras in here we've got Their Real, Roller Lash and Bad Gal. I'm keen to try Bad Gal because I've never tried that before thickening looking brush but you can see the difference there cool I quite like that actually I think my eyelashes do look pretty good okay so next I have this Revlon highlighting palette and this is in rose glow I'm just gonna swirl my brush across all of the colors because it's got this pink tone to it and the peachy colours in it I think it's going to really complement the eyeshadow. Okay and then finally is the Too Faced Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. I'm just going to swirl the brush across the whole thing. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I think this ties in so well because it's definitely pink toned but it definitely also adds um, a contouring shadow but it all just ties in the pink. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want me to go in depth on any of the other products that I've shown you today, just let me know, leave me a comment. Um, and please subscribe so you don't miss any of the looks that I'll come up with with some of these products. Um, that'd be really great, it's free to do, doesn't cost anything. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.